Hey, hello and welcome. I'd like to take the time to present a fairly useful mnemonic for the differential diagnosis of syncope. And the reason to discuss this is for the following. Syncope accounts for 1-3% to of all emergency room visits and up to 6% of hospitalizations in the U.S. The significance of any syncopal episode is obviously going to depend on the underlying etiology, which can range from a benign vasovagal episode to something like a life-threatening arrhythmia. And at a later time, we can get into how to work up and diagnose the various causes of syncope. But for now, we're going to stick to the, di- the differential diagnosis. Now, the mistake I occasionally will see is when a clinician notes a syncopal episode for an event that clearly was not syncopal. For example, a patient who was found down for a long duration of time, maybe somewhere around an hour. Now, that's not going to be syncope per se. Not unless the patient had syncope, fell, hit their head, and now they're unconscious from a head injury. So the definition is as follows. Syncope refers to fainting, and it's precisely defined as a transient loss of consciousness and postural tone that's characterized by a rapid onset, short duration, and spontaneous recovery due to global cerebral hypoperfusion. Now, a stroke is going to be on your differential. Yes, it could be, but that's not syncope. So syncope is not a seizure, it's not a stroke, but rather it's a phenomenon that's caused by global cerebral hypoperfusion and it causes someone to faint. Rapid onset, short duration, and spontaneous recovery. Now often there will be a prodrome and this can include vision changes, nausea, weakness, palpitations, and so on. Now before we get into the mnemonic, just remember cardiogenic should always be at the top of the the differential, all right? So here's the mnemonic, pass out, which hopefully can be of some use to you the next time you're thinking about syncope. So P is for pressure, A is for arrhythmia, S is for seizure, the other S is for hypo or hyperglycemia, O is for output, cardiac, and oxygen, so hypoxia, U is for unusual causes, and T is for transient ischemic attacks, strokes, CNS diseases, etc. All right, so let's go over these in a little bit greater detail. So P for pressure, so hypotensive causes, by far the most common cause for syncope. Number one, vasovagal. Number two, orthostatic hypotension, so this can be due to volume loss, medications, adrenal insufficiency, situational causes, primary autonomic nervous system disease and secondary autonomic nervous system disease. Next is arrhythmias, so bradyarrhythmias, tachyarrhythmias, so your SVTs, NSVT, AFib, etc. And number three, pacemaker malfunction. S is for seizures. Again, that's on the differential. It's not a cause of syncope, but it's on the differential. S is for sugar, so hypo or hyperglycemia. Again, not necessarily a cause of syncope, but on the differential. And then O is for output and oxygen, so output meaning cardiac, so aortic stenosis, mitral stenosis, cardiomyopathy, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, atrial myxomas, MIs, aortic dissections, and then your pulmonary causes include PE, pulmonary hypertension, COPD exacerbation, carbon monoxide poisoning, etc., Your U is for unusual causes, so this is just uh, a catch-all here, so anxiety, panic disorder, major depressive disorder, hyperventilation syndrome, somatization disorder, and you can fill in the blanks for the rest. Transient ischemic attacks, that's for the T, and strokes, CNS causes, etc. So CVAs, TIAs, subarachnoid hemorrhage, subdural hematoma, subclavian steel syndrome, basilar artery migraines, CNS mass effects, so tumors, edema, AVMs, etc. So at the bottom here, uh, situational causes. These can include micturation, postprandial, due to coughing. Never forget about carotid sinus hypersensitivity. So men that are wearing ties, often the cause of that. And your primary autonomic disease includes idiopathic, duh, shy Drager syndrome, Parkinson's disease, and secondary autonomic disease, so neuropathic, so anything from diabetes, amyloid, autoimmune, alcohol, alcoholic neuropathy, B12 deficiency, porphyria, and renal failure. 
So there you go. There is your mnemonic for the differential for syncope. If you'd like a copy of this card to carry around with you on, on rounds, uh, click on the link below. It'll take you to Google Documents. You can print it off from there. Cut it out. Laminate it. Do whatever you want with it. Throw it away. Get rid of it. Who, who knows? Just do whatever is going to be in your best interest. And that's it. That's all I have for you. So quite short, but hopefully it was of some use. So, so long. Goodbye. <laughs>